Updates that Adopt Me need to add. Do you want the new Lima for free? Like this video and comment down below your username for a chance to win one. Do you ever find it difficult trying to search for a certain pet? We know that there's a search bar where you can search the pet for it to come up. But what if you have so many of the exact same pet and you only want to see a specific version? Maybe you want to see only your flyable pet or only the pets that have a ride potion on it. Well, searching for it does nothing. Of course, there is the option to go and favorite a pet, so you could technically favorite every single one, but there are some players who are requesting some new filters. And I think this would make it perfect sense. Imagine being able to filter by having a potion, or being able to select multiple filters so you could show that it has a fly potion and a ride potion. Well, this is an awesome concept made by someone on Twitter. To go and activate the filter section, you'd click the little filter icon, where you'd then be able to go and select what type of rarity you want, and then even if you wanted to show neons or mega neons. So you could go and select the button that says show neons and show fly and ride, and then it would show you all of your fly and ride neons. Now by me going and making this video, Adopt Me actually listens. A couple months ago I said Adopt Me should go and implement this feature where you can change multiple colors. And guess what, they did. I even made a video about growth potions two months before they released. And then Adopt Me added them. So let me share some good ideas. Personally, this would be really useful for me, especially when I'm trying to trade for something of a certain value. Being able to just select the rarity and the potions, definitely handy. Up next is Petware. Once you have a pet that has Petware equipped, you'll see that it has this little grey icon in the corner. If I'm to go and select this and equip it to a pet, it will show that it's equipped to a pet. And your petware saves, so if I am to now go and equip it back, it will still be going and wearing the same petware. But the thing is, when you go and click on the petware, it doesn't say what pet has it equipped on. So by me going and clicking on this, it might accidentally take it off of a pet that I didn't want to. So when you have multiple pets with the petware equipped at the same time, you don't know which one's on which which might result in you accidentally removing the wrong one. Which is where this brand new feature could be implemented, where you can go and hover over it on a thing that's equipped, and it would say what pet is currently wearing that pet wear. A pretty small, nice addition that would definitely save some players a bit of time and confusion when going and dressing up their pets. We know Adopt Me wants to focus more on roleplay, and I have a feeling that this would be pretty beneficial to all of those players. Let us know if that was ever a struggle. Do you ever get a strange reaction from your pet that you get bored of going and seeing? Say you don't want to see it run around in circles when you join the game? Well, turns out quite a lot of people feel like that. And Adopt Me recently allowed us a brand new bar so we could go and see pet visibility friendship bars which is the feature that allows you to go and see the friendship level above your pet's head. People complained and then they got the option to go and remove it. Well, not officially remove it, just have it not visible. You see, you can just go and change the visibility by selecting no one. So this idea is that in your settings, you could go and turn your pet reactions off. So you go and turn pet reactions on or off. Obviously, this is a pretty small update, but quite a few people have been mentioning it. And if uh, it's a good idea, then it's not really that hard to go and make. If your pet ever gets the board task, where it has to go to the playground, you can just put it on a piano. Nice little life hack for you. Now, I get so many messages all the time saying that people have been hacked that they lost all of their pets or their friend traded all of their rare pets. And for a while, I've been saying there is a way to fix this by having a padlocked inventory. If Adopt Me was to go and implement this one small feature, it would potentially save thousands of players getting scammed or hacked. The concept is going and adding a passcode to your backpack and you could go and enter your four digit passcode in the same way that you have to go and enter a password to go and open your phone or your computer or any device. You'd go and type the code and then press the button open. And if you'd forgotten your password, you could simply press the forgot password button that would probably give you some type of way to go and reset it. Now, why is this good? Obviously, there is a bunch of people who get scammed. People will hack onto their accounts, and if you have valuable pets, they're going to take all of them and probably just give them to themselves or even sell them illegally. 
So if there was a way that once those hackers got onto your account, then they didn't know your password, then this whole issue wouldn't happen in the first place. The hackers wouldn't be able to go and take anything since it's locked behind a password. This wouldn't really be too hard of a thing to implement. And I think this might be useful for going and doing trading rather than a backpack. Maybe you need to do a password to go and trade with someone. That way it will prevent all of the scammers from trying to trade them since that's the only way to transport pets. Now this I can definitely get behind. Because so many times people just get hacked and then they just steal all their pets. But if they get hacked then there's another thing that these hackers have to try and get. Another password. It would definitely prevent quite a lot of scams as well. So it's definitely a feature that we all hope that Adopt Me might add in the future. I know it's sad that they might have to implement some feature to go and prevent scams, but the majority of players that quit Adopt Me is mainly because they got scammed. So if we can go and do some things to help prevent scamming going and happening, then more players will stick around and play the game. There's a lot of other really good ideas. This player said that there should be boosts like double aging or double the money. But to go and get them, you go and get it through the task board. And it would have the same chances as an RGB box appears on the task board. So making neons and eggs will stay through normal value, it should be tradable too. Now this, I agree with. If Adopt Me was to go and do double bucks and charge you Robux, everyone would quit. If Adopt Me goes and does it through a task board, similar to how the friendship level works, then I think this could be a pretty decent idea. And would definitely try and get people to go and do their tasks, as I uh, sometimes forget. This player thinks that you should go and get special login rewards once you go and reach 100, 500 or a 1000 day login streak. Now for the players that have a 1000 day login streak, that would be really cool. Maybe they could get like a special badge or just some type of small additional award that wouldn't be tradable to go and celebrate the players who have literally spent a thousand days playing Adopt Me every single day. I think that'd be a great idea and definitely something they should go and implement. Because if you spent a thousand days straight playing Adopt Me, I think you deserve something good, right? This person said they should be able to do amount trading. They want to be able to trade 100 cracked eggs at the same time. Being able to go and stack up the trade the same way that the pets stack in your inventory, just type a number of how many you want to go and trade. That would be really useful for me because I have to do like 20 trades to try and get 100 eggs when I go and do 100 egg hatching. So I agree on this one actually because it takes me so long going and manually trading so you get 100 eggs traded. Also all of these other comments are people agreeing that they think it would be a great idea. And some people say that it's good as they're a huge collector and they get scared they'll take an egg out on accident or something will happen. I'm always scared with going and opening gifts and I've actually opened really rare gifts multiple times just by accidentally clicking on it instead of the right one. So maybe locking away certain gifts would be useful actually, I didn't think of that. Another person agrees about the whole password thing. They think it's good because for hackers you get a bit more time to go and change your password if they've gotten into your account, like if you're playing and it said that one device or they sent an email but you didn't know, yeah it would give you a bit of bonus time to try and sort it out and prevent yourself from getting your pets stolen. Click this video here to see me test viral Roblox TikTok products. I think you're gonna love it so go and check it out right now.